Hello guys. Hello my wonderful people. Guys, how are you all doing, guys? Guys, today I'm going to make um akara with a camel for breakfast. Akara and pap for breakfast, guys. So I said, let me show you guys how I did it, guys. So here I'm uh, I'm putting my beans into into my blender that I'm going to be that I'm going to be using for the akara, okay, guys. So, yeah, I put my beans into a, into my blender. Then I will blend it, guys. I will blend it till it's smooth, okay. So yeah, it is, guys. I I have blended the beans, so I'm going to be adding it to my bowl. Yes, yeah, my bowl, guys. I'm going to be adding the blended beans into my bowl like this. So because I blend the beans two times because the beans uh it could not I cannot blend everything once because it was it was it was somehow many for me to blend once okay guys so here's the first one that I blend then I will blend the last one and add it to it guys so after blending it I will bring in my onion and pepper okay I'll bring in onion then pepper I will slice them then add it to the blended beans guys like so mm -hmm. yeah then after um after adding the beans to my bowl i will have to stir it like this for everything to combine i'll stir and stir and stir it like this before i will add my before i will add my pepper and onions okay so guys i use um white onions okay you can or red onions you know the other color of onions right the pink one you can use that is it pink or purple yeah the purple onions okay so you can use that one if you if you if that is the one you have you can also use the white onion like the way i did if it is white onion that you have at home you can make use of the onions that you have okay you can add as much as you want so here I'll be adding half um, I'll be adding one tablespoon, one and a half tablespoon of salt. No, one and a half teaspoon. Sorry guys. One and a half teaspoon of salt is what I add to the base here. As you can see. So after adding it, I will have to stir it, okay? I will have to stir it for everything to combine for the salt and the onion and pepper to combine, okay guys? Like I'm doing it right here. Yeah, like so. <coughs> we have to stir it, okay? So that all the salt, the onion, and the and the pepper will combine the way you want it, guys. So as you can see, I did not use too much pepper and onion, okay? You can use as much as you want, okay? If you want it more, if you want it less, you can use at most as much as you want, guys. So here's my daughter, you know, as always. So she was like, Mommy, let me help you to stir it. I see she can't stir <laughs> She was like, Mommy, let me help you. Let me help you. She's my little helper. She all know, right? She loves to help me whenever she's at home. Uh -huh. So I, I allow her to stay the way she can. <laughs> oh, my goodness, children. Eh? Oh, my word. So, uh -huh. so I, t I took it from her. I told her, go, go, go. This is not for children. <laughs> Hi guys, so I decided to do it myself as you can see. Like so. So I used my whisk, you know, whisk to to stir it, okay? Because I, I also want the beans to be a little bit fluffy, okay? So this is what I did here. I changed from spoon to this whisk to stir it, okay guys. So like so. So I test it to see if the salt is okay. Yep, the salt was okay because I use um one tea one one and a half teaspoon, okay. So now I'll add my my pan, fry pan to my stove, then add oil to it. <clears throat> As you can see guys, so now I'll add oil to my fry pan, okay? You add oil as you want it, okay? As for me, Sometimes I don't like using much oil for my cooking, okay? So because this one is is deep frying, okay? That is why I add this much oil. Hmm? So 
like this guys you add oil to your fry pan on your stove okay and what i'm doing it here guys so with the oil with the oil um when the oil is hot then we'll start frying okay first i will have to put in um i will have to put in small quantity of beans just to see if the oil is hot the way i want it okay i'll add small to the fry pan to, to try and see if the oil is hot the way i want it to be like this guys we are waiting for the oil to hot okay yeah it was really fun doing this guys it was really fun and the the, the akara came out well it was so good guys it was so good yep uh -huh. like so yeah like so guys so we are waiting now the oil is it's hot already guys as you can see it's hot already now we'll start frying although not that hot okay but you can see that um the beans that i put in have started frying guys so yeah now i'll start frying the beans i'll start adding the beans to my fry pan to fry it like this yep guys you all know that um i have the part one of this video right the part one of how i clean the beans okay of how i clean the beans in less than 15 minutes you know I, I, as i said in my previous video i don't soak my beans overnight i don't soak it overnight because when you soak your beans for me when you soak your beans overnight it's more difficult for you to clean than the one you did not soak overnight for me okay uh, I know that some people say that it's more easier for them to to clean their beans when they soak it overnight. For me, no, it's more difficult because when you soak your beans um overnight, that um after the beans might have soaked for so many hours, for you to clean it, it will be a little bit difficult because um well for me for me sure that is how I like to clean my beans. I like to clean my beans whenever I put it in water. I will just put the beans in water for like two minutes then later I remove the water okay when I sip the water away I will start scrubbing the beans just the way I explained it in my previous video of how I clean my beans okay so guys if you have not watched that video please go go and check it out okay you will like it you will like it and it is very easy guys you can clean your beans in less than 15 minutes you don't really need your beans to be you don't really need to soak your beans overnight guys okay you don't really need to soak it overnight so try and check out the video that i post i think two days ago right try and check it out you, you will know what i what i'm trying to tell you we see how easy it is okay it's not that difficult at all it's not difficult when you want to clear your beans it is very easy guys so guys uh-huh here's the our first batch the first batch of the akara that i just fried okay this one is the first one so i'll keep frying them until i finish um until i finish frying all the beans okay so guys we have this with um we had this with akamu okay we had this akara with akamu okay it was so good guys you can see you can see how well these beans came out right came out so well like this Keep frying guys if you are the type that like to fry your akara with much oil you can still add oil to your pan okay as for me i don't really like um cooking my food with too much oil okay it's just this one is for me this one is even much because it is deep frying you know this one is for me to fry the akara so that is why you see me that i add much oil to my fry pan like this yep guys it was so it was so fun doing this with my little angel as usual my little helper <laughs> oh my god so guys thank you all for watching let me leave you guys to watch to the end of this video thank you all for always being here for watching my videos for liking my videos guys um i'll also be posting this uh video to my 
my youtube channel okay if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do and subscribe sometimes i post some video that i don't even post to my to my facebook page i post it there sometimes so guys please follow me on my youtube okay subscribe so guys you also know that i have this video of how i make a, a, a camo how i make my pap right how i make my pap with liquid make you know i have this video also in my youtube channel i also have it on my page so guys if you have not watched it please try and watch it okay see how easy it is to also make your your pap with liquid make if you don't want to use pink make okay so guys love you all thank you for always being here for always watching god bless you Mwah. bye guys